Welcome to the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Friday, February 26th. Over the last two weeks, we've seen precipitation mainly target the northern half to two-thirds of the Great Basin, and this precipitation was largely above normal, especially in the higher elevations of Utah and then back into northern Nevada and southern Idaho. Still very dry conditions have continued over southern areas of the Great Basin into southern Nevada and the Arizona Strip and parts of southwest Utah. Also, we've seen below normal precipitation the last couple of weeks in the Sierra ever since the storm in late January. Looking at the new snowfall over the last 72 hours, you can see new snowfall across parts of Idaho into Wyoming and far northern Utah. However, the heavier amounts have been confined to areas north of the geographic area. Snowpack remains near normal in the north and over parts of northern Nevada and still below normal over much of Utah into the Sierra and western Nevada with ranges between about 70 and 80 percent. Looking at our satellite picture from this morning, we have a cold area of low pressure dropping down into the Pacific Northwest in Idaho today, and this will push a cold front through the Great Basin through the next 24 hours. Currently, we have some clouds and showers in the north, but generally clearer skies in the south, but winds will be picking up across the Great Basin through the day. So later today, as that cold front pushes further south, we'll see those clouds and lighter showers move into northern Utah and northern Nevada. Snowfall amounts could range anywhere from about one foot to a foot and a half, possibly over the higher terrain of Utah, and then some heavier amounts up into Idaho and Wyoming as well. Dispersion will remain quite good later today as those winds pick up as that cold front drives south. Looking at the winds later today, you can see the strongest winds will be over the northern half of the Great Basin. Many areas will see gusts in the 30s and 40s, and some areas, especially in the west and over parts of Idaho, will see gusts above 50 miles per hour. Also looking at the mixing heights, they'll remain quite high in those areas of stronger winds and moderate elsewhere. On Saturday, that cold front will continue pushing south and east. We will still see some lingering snow and snow showers over the eastern areas of the Great Basin and still breezy north winds over the rest of the area. So again, another day of good dispersion across most areas, with the exception of eastern Idaho, Idaho and Wyoming, where winds won't be quite as strong. Looking at the winds on Saturday, the gustiest winds will be located over western areas of the Great Basin, however not quite as strong as what we'll see today, but still wind gusts in the 30 to 40 mile per hour range. Mixing heights will again remain high, with the exception of eastern Idaho and Wyoming. On Sunday, this front pushes further south and east, and we see ridging moving into the Great Basin, so we will see winds start to decrease over western areas, and still breezy north winds continuing over central and eastern areas, and also over southern areas of the Great Basin. However, drier weather will return by Sunday, and also temperatures will start rebounding. So dispersion again will remain quite good over southern areas where those gusty winds will continue and will become dramatically poor over the north. Looking at Sunday, again, very light winds in the north with that poor dispersion, but again, the gusty north winds behind the cold front remain over southern and eastern areas, and this is where we will see the wind gusts between about 30 and 40 miles per hour. However, we could see some areas see some stronger gusts, especially in the higher terrain. We'll also still see the ridge winds across the Sierra still a little bit breezy on Sunday. Mixing heights will remain high in the south and lower up north. The forecast clearing index for Utah shows fairly high clearing indices the next two days with those gusty winds. And then on Sunday, high clearing indices in the south as those winds push further south and lighter winds in the north, so much lower conditions over northern Utah by Sunday. Forecast amounts of precipitation are indicated here. Again, you can see generally the areas seeing the heaviest snowfall over the next couple of days with that front will be the central and eastern Idaho mountains, Wyoming, and the northern mountains of Utah. We'll also see some good snowfall amounts in the higher terrain of northeast Nevada as well, with lighter amounts down into the valleys. Going into the early part of next week, we will see that ridge of high pressure move eastward across the Great Basin into the central Rockies. So we will see generally warm and dry conditions, maybe a Winds start to pick up a little bit over western areas of Nevada ahead of another area of low pressure, but still dry conditions on Monday and also continuing on Tuesday, but still good dispersion as that system approaches over parts of southern, the southern half of the Great Basin as those winds pick up. This next area of low pressure will be moving in from the south, so it will drop down the California coast early next week, and by Wednesday move into southern California and southern Nevada. So we will see some precipitation over southern areas that again desperately need new rain and new snowfall, especially in the higher terrain. So we will see that precipitation for the middle of next week, mainly targeting the southern half of the Great Basin. Again, good dispersion as those winds pick up as that area of low pressure moves through. 
by Thursday, that area of low pr pressure quickly moves into the Rockies. So we will see another period of drier and warmer conditions going into the later part of next week before this next trough of low pressure that will be quite a bit colder drops down closer to the weekend. The precipitation for days four and five, which takes us from Monday through Wednesday, this is again that next system moving in on Wednesday. You can see some lighter showers in the south. I imagine we will see some heavier amounts as that system gets a little bit closer on Wednesday into Thursday. So expect a little bit more precipitation in the south for the middle of next week. The 8 to 14 day outlook taking us from March 5th through the 11th shows generally cooler conditions in the west and above normal precipitation possible across California into western areas of the Great Basin. It does look like we will start getting, um, after the first week of March, start getting colder, wetter systems moving into the west coast. So again, this really supports that pattern change as we go uh, through the next two, and the, through the second and third week of March. That concludes our webcast for today. Check back on Monday for the latest updates.